In this tutorial, we're going to create a PBR image of this orange, lemon, or nachi, basically citrus fruit. And uh, before we begin, I just want to give a shout out to Illustradora 3D. This is Natalia Joanna. She actually created this and gave me the idea, so I decided to make my own tutorial version of that. Uh, so check her channel out. Right, so the first thing you want to do is open up a new Blender file. Once you've got a new Blender file open, um, there we go, I am all set. Uh, we're going to press numpad 1. If you don't want to delete the default cube because it did absolutely nothing to you, you can just add some subdivisions to it on Catmull Clock and maybe chuck this on 5. And then you can apply. And once you've applied, you must press tab to go into edit mode and then press shift, alt, S, hold it all together, and once you click them all together, on the top left-hand corner here, you'll see two sphere, 0.000, but if you move it all the way to the right-hand side, once it shows 1.0, click, and now you have the perfect sphere. You can press tab to go to out of object mode, and there you go. Right-click, shade smooth. That's looking pretty good to me. And just for the sake of it, we'll use the most appropriate sphere, which is the UV sphere for this, for citrus fruit. G, um, X, chuck this over here. Right-click, shade smooth. And let's use the least appropriate sphere as well, the icosphere, G, X, and they all can work. Um, with this one, we'll need to add some subdivisions to make it look more realistic. Maybe chuck it on 5 on cat or clock, and then right-click Shade Smooth, and we are ready to go. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to work in EV. This works for EV and Cycles. Um, I'm going to change to that Render View mode. I'm going to look at this through my camera lens, and that's perfectly fine. And we will start off by going into our shader editor, pressing new, giving this material a name called orange, or citrus fruit, and right, so we'll be working with this one first. In fact, let's add some subdivisions to this also just to make it look a little bit smoother on two. There we go. Right, so now that we've done that, let me zoom in. Uh, so we're going to leave the base color on white. We're going to increase the subsurface to 1. And we're going to change the subsurface color to hex to FA A to B36. Press Enter. You'll notice that it's just over here. So basically an orange. And once you've done that, it looks like that. That's looking pretty cool to me. And then we can go down to our clear coat, make our clear coat 0.5 and our clear coat roughness 0.3 once you've done that you want to go down here to where it shows normal and keep in mind just in case you don't have this plugin installed uh, you might want to look at node wrangler and make sure that's enabled anyways uh, let's go back into this shift a and we're going to search for noise <coughs> noise texture then shift a we're going to search for bump and we're going to use the bump and we're going to connect the factor to the height. <coughs> I do apologize. And then we're going to connect the normal to the normal. And automatically we get something like this that looks a bit alien or funky or off. Doesn't look like a citrus fruit to me or one that I would eat. Uh, first thing you want to do is change the scale to 50. Boom. That's coming closer. Maybe increase the details to 5. And then maybe change the strength to around 0 0.4 and change the distance to 0 0.1. 5 0.7 yeah so anywhere between like 0 0.1 0 0.1 should be fine as uh, oh, 0 0.2 is also okay you can decide what you think looks best best I'm gonna use 0 0.15 in this example and I think that looks pretty good right so now we've got the orange done now we want to do the the uh, nectarine or whatever the case may be so to save time we can just select all of this, press Control C, go to go here, rename this to, I don't know, Nectar, or Nectarine, or whatever it is. Se select this piece over here, delete it, shift V to paste, connect this into the surface, and you can just use your own judgment. You can just use a darker orange. Oh, the strength isn't right. This needs to be 0 0.4. That explains it. There we go. 0 0.4. That was my mistake. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. And then the final one, we're going to create a new one, and we're going to call this lemon. 
lemon type texture, obviously it's not the lemon shape, but the material is looking pretty good. Control V, connect this in, and once again you just choose the color that you want. Find a yellow that seems appropriate. Take, you can take your time with this. Something like that will probably work. And one thing I don't like about this light, I think it's a spotlight. I'm going to change it to sun, change it to a strength of one. And then I'm going to go to yeah and just change the blackness to pure blackness. And there you have it. We've created an orange, a nectarine, and a lemon texture. The lemon texture seems a bit rough. I mean, yeah, because the strength is too high. We need to change this to 0 0.4, and that, now it looks a little bit more believable. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.